Hey there, how's it going? My name is Adam Repos Vox, and in this video I'm going to show you a quick way to make a YouTube video thumbnail with the TubeBuddy extension, which I have shown in a previous video. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click the annotation, which should be somewhere here-ish, and I will take you to that tutorial. But as long as you already know what TubeBuddy is, I'm going to walk you through real quick how to make YouTube thumbnails without ever needing Photoshop or anything like that. They're not the craziest best things in the world, but I did make this one for a Halo video, as you can see here. And then I really quick threw this one together with just totally non-video based assets. And you can do pretty much whatever you want with those. So I'm going to show you how to do that right after our sponsored pre-roll. This video is made possible thanks to lynda.com. lynda.com makes it easy to pick up new skills, grow your hobbies, or learn to use new software through their in-depth and easy to follow video tutorials and courses. I try to post tutorials as often as I can, but you can't beat the extensive coverage on lynda.com. I still go through lynda courses on the regular to learn new things. You can get a special 10 day free trial by clicking the screen now or going to epostvox.com slash lynda to learn more. All right, so if you want to make a video thumbnail, first you're going to need a video up on YouTube. And then if you want to use any specific assets, such as this transparent head that I use for my avatars, or you, or if you want to use text, go ahead and gather those assets or think about what text you would want to use. Next, you want to pick your video and let's make a thumbnail for it. I'm going to do it for this other Halo video since I can't make them public anyway. I can experiment with them for thumbnails. This is the current thumbnail that I made in Photoshop. And in theory, I'm actually going to try to recreate this, although I won't get it exact. So take a look at it now. Now we're going to click the little TubeBuddy icon next to the video here, where next to where it says edit. Click the drop down, and we're going to go to Thumbnail Generator Beta. This is a beta feature to the extension, so there may be issues that you have with it. Now you're presented with what type of background you would want. And we're going to do both of these in this video, but first I'm going to do a still image from the video. You can also just pick a color and do that. First, we're going to do a still image. Next, it watch, walks you through the video, and you can pick which frame you want your thumbnail to come from. And if you pause it, you can actually adjust individually by frame to get the exact one that you want, but otherwise you're going to have to scroll through here and figure out where you want your thumbnail to come from. I'm going to try to pick something similar to what I had before if I can find it in the video. Pretty close. So let's back up a little bit. Let's play the video. Wait till I die. Okay, this isn't exactly it. Boom. Let's go back a couple frames. Just keep clicking that previous button until it's where you want. It started getting super dark, so I want to wait till it gets dark. And we'll rotate it to about right there. Once you're on the frame that you want, go ahead and click next. And then here's where you actually get to add your assets. Now, you have to use that entire frame. You don't get to make it bigger or anything like you could in Photoshop. So we're still going to have te the text and things like that in here, which I did not have in my original, but that's okay. I'm going to add the image of my face. And here, if you've already added the image to the extension, it'll keep it in this little box so you don't have to keep re-uploading your images. But for the sake of running you through this, just click where it says choose file to upload a new image and then find an image. Now this can be anything, or you can make it, if you want to use a transparent image to overlay over, that's what I'm using here, to where the background is transparent, it's a PNG file. I'll click open and it will upload it. And there you go, now we have two, so I'll just go ahead and get rid of one, yes. And then just click it to add it to your image. Now obviously this is way too big, but that's not a problem, because if we click it and drag it down to where we can see the corners, then I can make it smaller until it's the size I want it to be. I want it to be a little smaller than that, and then we can even rotate it with this top one. So I'll rotate it a little bit and put it over in this corner over top of that text. And then we'll go ahead and add some text. So I'm going to put the first one to say Halo Online, and then we'll make that one this press start two player text. We'll make it white with an outline and bold, I think. All right, we don't. There we go. Uh, maybe not bold. Yeah, that's a lot better. And then the box is a little off. Again, it is beta functionality. And then we had it kind of, whoa, in this corner here. That's about good. This isn't the best font. It's not going to show up the best, but we can put it right there. And then we'll add another text and we'll call it, and we'll put in beatdown extravaganza. And we'll go ahead and make that the permanent marker font. 
give it an outline, and we'll actually make this one yellow. So go ahead and click the little color box here. This is where you change your fonts. This is where you change your colors. I'm going to drag it up to the yellows, make it bright yellow with an outline, make it a little bit bigger, and we'll put it down here. And then if I can find it, we can go ahead and add that emblem that we had as well. So I'm going to click image again, choose file, and in my resources folder, there it is. Click open. It's going to upload it. I'm going to click it to add it, and again, it's going to be way too big, but all we got to do is shrink it back down to size. And then there, we have that beat down emblem in the corner. So we've got a thumbnail pretty similar to what we started with. And th that first one I made in Photoshop. Now we click next. Once we're done, it'll show you what it'll look like on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Twitter stretches it a bit, but don't worry about that. That's not something you need to worry about. Just make sure it looks right in the YouTube box and then hit save and publish. And it's gonna ask, are you sure you wanna set it as this video's thumbnail? Hit yes. It's gonna process and set it as that video's thumbnail and then click reload. And then when we reload it and scroll down back to the bottom here, you're going to see our thumbnail is now on the video. There we go. Halo Online Beatdown Extravaganza. And that's all it takes. Now I'm going to walk you through doing a basic one with the colored background as well, in case you want to primarily add your own images. I guess we'll do it on this epic splatter video. So go ahead and hit the TubeBuddy icon, go back to Thumbnail Generator. And then this time we're going to do a solid color. And then if you change your mind, you can still click the drop down here and choose still image, but we're gonna go with the solid color. So we're gonna choose our color box again, and we'll make this something crazy, like a bright purple pinkish. Choose, and that's what our background is gonna be. And then we can add layers to it. So I'm gonna add our face image again. All about that consistent branding. Size it down, give it a little rotate, put it off in this corner. All of this is purely for example, not the most specific information you should follow. And we'll go back to our original Halo graphics folder here and see if there's anything we want. There's a Spartan, a Warthog. Uh, the video is with a mongoose, but a Warthog is somewhat similarly usable. And of course, this graphic is huge. Oh, and it doesn't have a transparent background. We don't want that. So I'm gonna hit delete. I don't know if you saw that. Let me add that back here. I click it, there's a delete button right here when the layer is selected. And you can either send it to the back, which puts the head on top of it. So actually we could do something kind of cool with just like having that there. Or you click delete and it will remove it. But I'm actually thinking we're gonna put Master Chief right there and then we're gonna actually, since we send it to the back, this layer's on top, I'm actually gonna rotate my head here and put it on Master Chief's body. And then we're just gonna add some text to it. I'm gonna use the Sigma 1 font. Oh, wrong font. We're going to give it a bright blue text color. We're going to give it an outline, an underline, and bold. And we're going to call it Epic Splatter. And then we're going to click Add. And then drag its size, take up the whole bottom here. And that, we're good to go. We've got quite the unique thumbnail, at least. <laughs> so I'm going to hit Next. It's going to give it a preview, save and publish. OK. Reload the page when it's ready. And that is now our thumbnail. So I hope this video was helpful for you. This is a really neat feature that TubeBuddy has added into their extension. Now, this is of course pretty simplistic, but if you don't have access to Photoshop or you don't have the skills yet in GIMP or Photoshop or any image editing software, this is an easy way to still be able to make custom thumbnails for your videos without having to spend hours and hours trying to learn graphic design, which not everybody really wants to learn. Now, if you're watching this at the time or after that it uploaded, this video did actually upload early access via our Patreon campaign, where you can support the channel via a monthly contribution, get early access to our videos and other extra little bonuses and things like that. Link to that will be in the description below. Otherwise, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, all that jazz. And I will see you in a future video. My name is Ben Adam, Marie Vox. Bye-bye.